So I'm going to demonstrate for you a wall rectus femoris stretch or quad stretch. Also, it's a great stretch for your hip flexors. Um, generally, the front side of your leg tends to be a pretty tight part of your body, so it's really important to really get it nice and loose. This is a great stretch to do following a workout. Find yourself a pad, something thick. You can even use a rolled up yoga mat or a pillow. You're going to place it up against the wall. Face forward and you're going to lean your body forward enough so you can press that foot, this toe, all the way up against the wall. Knee points straight down, get your balance, and then you're just going to sit upright. Okay, so you're in this position, nice flat down the front of your body. If you keep your glutes really, really tight, you're going to get the pull deeper up into your hip flexor muscles. Shoulders back, this is going to be a nice deep stretch, you'll feel it all the way from the top here all the way down to the knee. If you find that you have to be bent over slightly or leaning forward or cockeyed to the side, come away from the, from the wall a little bit more. The stretch is probably too tight. Find a position so you can get your hips flat down the front side of your body and hold there. Oftentimes people in this position will want to just push way forward and really get what they think is a really deep hip flexor stretch but oftentimes that actually is not stretching what you think it is stretching. So it's better to sit upright, squeeze your glute tight, and just that motion of squeezing your glute is gonna pull your femur into position where you're gonna get a better hip flexor stretch here. So this is stretching not just the hip flexor muscles, but also your quad muscles at the same time, okay? So you'll perform that for about 20 to 30 seconds, switch sides and do that stretch on the other leg as well. And that is a wall rectus femoris stretch.